Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about intent service, which is used to do background work. So it will continue to work even if our app is minimized. There are several different kinds of services which we can create, but the intent service, which I will cover in this video, is the most simple one. And it will work on a different thread. So we don't need to worry about it blocking our UI thread, because if it would run on our UI thread, or which is also called um, the main thread, then it could be that it would freeze our UI and we of course don't want that. So that is a really simple service you can use to do background work. But if you need to use multi-threading in your service, then you cannot use an intent service for that. So I actually set up a very simple UI layout here to start and stop our service and I added a simple text view to display whether our service is stopped or currently running. So make sure to set it up like I did. I called this start button, button start service, the stop button, button stop service, and the text view TV service info. So if you have done that, we can go into our project folder and create a new class because for every service we want to create, we need to create a new class for that to define its behavior. And because I'm not very creative, I will just call it my intent service and make sure to select class here, then press enter and Android Studio will create that class. So this class needs to inherit from intent service, of course. And in the constructor of intent service, we need to pass a name for our service, which doesn't really matter what we choose here. I will just choose my intent service again. And we got an another error here. Um, we need to we need to implement the on handle intent function. So let's write on handle intent this one. And every intent service needs to implement this function, which is used to process the intents we pass to um, to the service when we started. So when we start this service, we create an intent first, just as we do it for starting an activity. And we start this service with that intent. And we could also pass additional data to this intent to process that data in our service. And what this function will do, or what this intent service will do, it will take the intents we pass to um, the service when we started. So we can we we can only start this service with the with a single intent, but we could call the start service function again on a later time and pass a different intent. And all these intents will be passed to the service. And for each intent, this on handle intent function will be called. So this intent service class will process one intent at a time. So if we pass multiple intents at different times to the service, then each intent will be appended to the intent work queue and the service will be handled one intent at a time. And after one has been processed, then it will move on to the next one. And when this function on handle intent returns, then our service will be stopped automatically if there are no more intents in our queue. But that might sound very complicated right now. For this tutorial, we will just handle a single intent that we will um, that will keep this service alive to demonstrate you that it is actually working in the background. The first thing I want to do here is to add a way to easily stop our service from the outside. So when we click on that stop service button in our activity, we actually want our service to stop. And we can do that very easily by adding a singleton instance to this service class. So we can do that by creating a companion object. And inside of that companion object, we create a private late init var and call it instance, which will be of type my intent service, of course, because this instance will hold the current instance of this service class. And we will initialize this instance when this service class is created. So inside of the init block, we can just write instance is equal to this. And another variable I want to add in this companion object is a Boolean, whether that current whether that service is currently running or not. So var is running and set it to false initially. And I don't want to make this private because this is a variable you might want to access from the outside. So to check if that service is currently running or not. And I want to add a function um, to stop our service. And inside of that function, I just want to print a log message here. Make sure to import that log, pressing Alt plus Enter. 
um, I'll just add a tag my intent service and the message is just service is stopping. Then we want to set is running to false of course when we want to when we stop our service and we want to call instance dot stop self. So remember this instance is the instance of our current service class and we want to stop this service instance. So stop self is the function that will just stop the service. Then I will jump into our on handle intent function and here I will add a trial block because we will let our thread sleep here and that could throw an exception. So make sure to surround it with a try and catch block. Um, and here we want to set is running to true because if the service goes into this function, we know that it is running. And I add a while loop. So as long as our service is running, while is running is true, we want to print a log message, my intent service as a tag and print service is running. Then we just want to let our thread sleep for one second and add a catch block too because the sleep function can throw an interrupted exception. Um, oh, that's the while loop. Catch E, which is kind of an interrupted exception. In that case, we just want to call thread dot current thread dot interrupt. So we just want to interrupt this current thread. Then we can go into our main activity and add on click listeners to our two buttons. We start by writing button start service dot set on click listener. And in this on click listener, that is very similar to starting an activity, we will create an intent, import it, um, pass this as context and pass our service class as second parameter. So my intent service double colon class dot Java dot also. And here we just want to call start service instead of start activity and pass it as parameter. And we also want to set the text of our TV service info um, to service running. And then we can set an on click listener to our button stop service. And in here, we don't need to create this intent. That could be a possibility to stop our service. We could also um, save this intent in a variable and then call the stop service function and pass this intent. That would also work. But because we created that singleton, we can just call my intent service dot stop service and set TV service info dot text to service stopped. And that's almost it. Uh, what many people forget when creating a service is that we actually have to add it to our manifest file. So make sure to go to your manifest, double click it. And here in this application tag, down here where, you, where your activity is, we can create another tag with a service and just pass my intent service here to tell our app that we actually have a service that we are using in this app. And if you've done that, then we can start our app. And here I already set up a filter for our log cat. So make sure to select debug here and pass the tag you pass to your log functions in the service class. So in my case, it's my intent service. And when we now press start in our service app, then you can see our service is running. It will print that each second. And even if we minimize our app, it will still print services running because it will run in the background. And if we go into our app again and click stop service, then it tells us service is stopping and it doesn't print services running anymore. So that was a first introduction into services. Um, there will come more videos about services because it's a very important topic and there is a lot more to, to talk about that. And yeah, I hope everything got clear to you. Um, I know this might be a little bit confusing in the beginning. Um, if you have any questions, then really don't mind asking them in the comments. I will answer them. And yeah, please leave me some feedback if there's anything I can improve on. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.